Hello, hello, hello. Hey guys. All right, let's see here. I think we got it together. There we are. Hey guys, good night, good night, good night, right? Good evening. That sounds that feels kind of weird saying that. Good evening. Hi, Kimberly. How are you? All right, guys. So if this is your first time joining my scope, I want you to just type in there, I'm new. Let me know that you're new. And also let me got let me know where you guys are scoping in from tonight. Hi, Kimberly. You're awesome. <laughs> Welcome to my scope. We're going to have a night party. Woo. <laughs> hey! Yes, Kay. Kiara in the house. <laughs> so, um, for those of you who are new to my scope, my name is Tiffany Bethia, and I'm an author, speaker, mompreneur, um, minister, and founder of She Eo Life. Uh, business and lifestyle brand, which really is aimed at helping women leaders and entrepreneurs. Yes. Well, then you, you get some rest. You can catch the replay <laughs> tomorrow, Kimberly. <laughs> um, but she, your life is aimed at helping women leaders and entrepreneurs cultivate spirit, soul, body, and business wellness. And I combine um, my experience as a minister and as a faith based leader. Hi, Latoya. Um, also with my, my years of experience as a marketing consultant to really, really provide holistic solutions. I have to tell you guys the truth. After working with entrepreneurs for years and years and years, I have found that the reasons we struggle in business often have nothing to do with the business and everything to do with us. <laughs> so, um, that's a little bit about who am I and I want to, I want to see a roll call. Who are you guys? Where are you guys scoping in from? And I know you guys are doing some awesome things, too. So let me know who's out there and what do you do? I want to hear from you guys as I'm pulling up some notes. I'm going to share something, some things with you guys. And I got to tell you guys the truth. I'm not going to be on here long tonight. <laughs> um, so I'm in the middle of a 31 day experience with some female leaders and entrepreneurs is called metamorphosis and it's a prayer and journal experience so we're really really just seeking God growing from the inside out you know knowing that if we grow as people our businesses our home life everything else will grow and uh, I told my scope fans I would be back on here at 10 p.m but I didn't even get off the call with them until 10 30 so I'm a little tired, you guys. I really had to pour out quite a bit um, tonight. Tonight's call got really, really personal and God was just really dealing with uh, some of the ladies. And so it just caused me to take the call in a different direction. And I was like, oh my goodness, my poor throat was on fire. But I, I told you guys I'd be back. <laughs> so I'm here. I'm keeping my word. And we're going to be here briefly, super briefly. All right. Um, you guys are being shy tonight. Nobody wants to tell me what they do. Okay, fine. No problem. Um, well, listen, I don't want to be here long, but I've been, like I said, watching Facebook, talking to my own clients, talking to the women in the CEO community. And I understand, and I have my finger on the pulse enough to know that so many of you are in a place right now where you're really desiring more. It's not even that you're not content. You're just like, God, I want the next thing that you have for me. What is keeping me from getting to where I want to go? Okay. And, and there are many, many things, but I want to submit to you one thing that I believe is often overlooked in the process of really, really, um, Hey, all right, Kimberly, I think there's a slight delay. So I should have just held off for that. So, yes, I help young girls and women build self-esteem. And Kimberly, guys, is an awesome person to follow. So if you're watching this live or if you're catching the replay, definitely going over. <laughs> definitely go. It's all good, Kimberly. You know, I think there's an actual delay. <laughs> and follow her because she's doing some amazing, amazing work and in, um, in the field of mentoring and building young women. And she's been doing that for some years. I can vouch for her. So she's super awesome. Okay, guys. So... It's true. <laughs> so those of you who have not met me yet, let me tell you something. I do not do a lot of marketing talk. I keep it super 100. Okay, I'm 
pretty blunt person, so I'm, I'm telling you the truth, okay? So, um, but right, so I want to share with you one thing I believe is often overlooked in our process of elevation, growth, whether it's spiritually, whether it's mentally, whether it's professionally, and it's really the power of connections. Who are you connected to? Who are you connected to that is helping you specifically get to the next place? So if you were on my earlier scope, um, I called it, it was about (laughs) time to testify. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And I had to take it to church for a moment. (laughs) And I, you know, I was talking about the fact that one, I was happy that my periscope was working again. (laughs) <laughs> but second of all, I was just super happy because um, over the, the last 30 days, I've been really just taking my own advice, trying some new things. I really wanted to see some new energy in my business and it's really translated and you know this morning I had to take a new check to the bank and I was super happy about that (laughs) because it was a reflection of the work that I had been cultivating and so I told you guys I would come back and share um, some really practical things but now I want to get real super transparent and tell you about that so yes I said this morning I took a check to the bank I just closed a brand new deal with a client who I just talk to um just connected with like friday and talk to she was super serious she was super excited to the point that she paid me yesterday i don't even work on sundays like at all that's my serious family day that's dedicated to the lord and she made sure i got that check yesterday she was not playing and so what did i do to honestly get from the place i was um about a month ago where i said god i'm I'm looking for something new i need some new energy in my business love the clients i have now i just want some additional ones um to be honest the one of the biggest things uh oh karima the delay hopefully hey guys let me know if anyone else is experiencing this as well are you guys able to see me okay double tap the screen if you're able to see me okay let me know that okay so i think that's all right so somebody hopefully and it could possibly i don't know if it's my feed or or what's going on but hopefully we'll get that worked out periscope is definitely still working out the bugs yes (laughs) double tap the screen if you know periscope is still working out the bugs yes indeed so um the biggest but to be completely transparent with you guys and this is nice scope so i think it's about transparency right the biggest thing that allowed me to close that deal and it was a nice size deal (laughs) and um and really begin to see some new energy in my business was the power of connection it was me talking to another sister in business and being honest about look this is where i am i'm just not sure and her giving me some feedback now listen to this i prayed first Okay, I pray first. I said, God, I, I, this is where I am. This is even where I am income wise, but I'm ready to go to the next level. I need something additional. And so he spoke to me. But then it was in talking with my business associate, who is further than I am in business, to be honest, that brought the clarity. So some of you are looking for answers. You're looking for solutions and they're in people. The challenge is and the problem comes in, are you connected to the people who are going to be able to speak the answer that you're looking for? Yes, as a woman leader and as a woman entrepreneur and and my fellas too. Let me not leave out the fellas that may be (laughs) on the scope because certainly I don't only work with women, even though my ministry is primarily to women. Um, Double tap the screen if you're an entrepreneur on here. Let me just do a quick check and see who's on the scope tonight. Double chat, double tap if you are... All right. And listen, it doesn't mean it matter if you're part time, um, full time, thinking about it, (laughs) want to start something or you have start something. Right. So. So what am I saying? This is what I'm saying. Um, I prayed about it first, but then it was in talking to someone who was able to give me the answer or confirm the answer that let me know I was headed in the right direction. And so from there, I began to put some things into play and they immediately began to show me results in the form of uh, we had to go to the bank this morning. Right. So what am I saying? There are some things right now that you're trying to figure out. How am I going to get from here to here? What's the next step or how do I implement this? 
my advice to you, and I really want to encourage you, do not try to figure it out on your own. There is somebody either in your community now that has the answer, or that means there's somebody else left that you need to connect with. Okay, and so this is why, you know, it has to become so important to us um, to constantly be meeting new people. You never, ever, ever know where the answer to your next question is going to come from. It may not come from the place that you're expecting. Right. And so sometimes, you know, we have our friends and our family members and we love them. But if there's a if there's a, I, just, I just told a client this, as a matter of fact, there was a young lady I met with last week and we were talking about a business that she's starting. And she was telling me some of the feedback that she's getting from a particular family member. And I asked her, I said, oh, well, how many businesses does that family member have? And she said, oh, no, they don't. They're not in business. I said, well, listen, we love them and we're going to take some advice from them on some other things but seeing as though they haven't walked that road let's not let, let's follow someone who has walked that road and get their advice right and so I'm telling you guys you know in the she I have a community online it's the CEO online community we're in there sharing tips you know, just sharing this is what has worked for me, encouraging each other. There are so many other communities. I'm a part of um, Heal a Woman to Heal a Nation, which is another phenomenal community that has literally changed my life, doubled my revenue, just made such a big difference. And so I'm asking you, what communities are you a part of? And not just your name on the list. Who are you regularly talking to? Who are you regularly dialoguing with and getting the answers that you're looking for, right? So I want to encourage you to think about that. Look at the things that you're in need of, that you're really trying to figure out and take inventory of who's around you to say, who might be able to assist me with this? Who might be able to assist me with this? And this is one thing I definitely want to share with you also. You have not because you ask not. Now, it's funny because this is something I say all the time, but I've had to really, really hone in on that phrase. So I'm starting a major project. And if you follow me, hopefully you're following me on Facebook, uh, Tiffany Bethia, um, or on Instagram at Tiffany L. Bethia. I'm starting a talk show. It's called Magenta. And if you'll notice, I've got on like my little magenta shirt. I'm all in my magenta mindset. <laughs> you can go to www.watchmagenta to find out .com to find out more about that. So I'm starting a talk show. This is a whole new, you know, uh, lane for me. And, you know, we're talking about set building and episode planning and all of these things. And it's new. Like God told me and my partner to do this. But there are so many moving pieces that we have to put in place. But I'm telling you guys, I have learned the power of asking for what I need. So the person who came on board, uh -oh, what my phone just do? Guys, double tap the screen if you're still able to see me. <laughs> my phone is definitely throwing some shade right now. So double tap and let me just make sure that you guys are still here. If you can see me, double tap the screen and let me know. Yep, I'm here because I don't want to be talking to myself. Thank you. Okay. So I've had to put together a set design, like I said, episode planning, all of these things that can be really costly, but here's the blessing in it. So the person who's helping, I'm, I'm giving you guys some real, I'm be keeping honest with you guys. The person who's building my set design said, you know what? I'll invest my time. I'm going to, I'm going to sew into your vision, but I, I didn't even ask them to do that. It Honestly, that was just what they felt led to do. The same thing with people, various people who are coming on board to our team. I called someone that I knew in the um, TV production field just to get some advice. And the next thing I know, she was jumping on my team. What? I told, I didn't even think I could afford her. I told her, we, we can't afford you. We're just a brand new show. We're starting out. But you know what? When you have favor and when you have the guts to believe in yourself, you can obtain things that you do not have the money for. I'm telling you guys, the team that we have, the set that we have, the wardrobe, all these things that are pulling this show together, we didn't, we 
didn't have the budget for that. <laughs> we just stepped out. We just said, okay, God, you told us to do a show for, for women, for millennial women, that's positive, that's fun, that's entertaining, that's educational. Next thing we know, we have a show. So I'm telling you, if you surround yourself with the right people and you be and you believe in yourself enough to just talk about what it is you're doing and what God has you doing, you will be surprised who will jump on board and help move your vision forward. OK, so two things I share with you guys. One is about community. If you've been stuck on the same problem or you've been trying to figure something out for a month, two months, three months, you are in the wrong community. <laughs> you need to get up from the room you're in and find another room to be in. Because when you get in a space, hi, TMP is so fierce. <laughs> I, I didn't mess that up. Um, welcome to my scope. I'm talking about two powerful principles that help move your vision forward. And, and you know, I'm a faith-based leader and marketing coach. So, I'm, you know, whether this is a ministry, a book, a business, whatever it is that you're working on. And one of the first of those things was community. Who are you surrounded by? So if you've been stuck on the same problem, you know, a month, two months, you're in the wrong community because somebody that's connected to you, if you're sharing with them, should have either the solution or a resource to point you to the solution. And the second thing is being bold and speaking what you need. I have really learned that um, as I'm launching my new talk show, another plug, <laughs> called Magenta. I'm telling you, the team that I've been able to build that is far past what I know I'd have been able to afford out of my starter show <laughs> budget is strictly because I had enough guts to say this is what I'm doing and put that energy out there into the universe when you are serious about what it is you're working on people can tell that and they want to be a part of that and the crazy thing is our show hasn't aired yet but our team is so fired up from the designers to the makeup artists the person doing the set they are so excited they haven't seen the episode the person who's doing my set, he has no idea. I haven't shown him one thing <laughs> for the upcoming episodes. What's he going off of? He's going off of my energy, my passion, my excitement. The fact that I'm so filled with this vision that just me describing it, he's like, oh, okay, I want to be on board with that. Right. So when you get so full of your passion, of your vision, you're going to draw people to you who are going to have answers and are going to be willing and desiring to share them with you. So I want to pause for a second and see if you guys have any questions for me. I feel like on night scope, we should be able to, you know, dialogue real good. <laughs> so any any questions? Well, tell me a little bit about what you guys do. I want to know um, what you guys do and what are the visions that you guys are currently building and working on? Yay. I'll give you a moment to jot down your answers. I want to see. I want to know. What awesome women. I know that there's some phenomenal women in here. So you guys going to. I'm going to wait for you guys to share just so you know. <laughs> hi, Tanisha. That's so funny. I didn't recognize you or um, screen name, but hi, Tanisha. Yay. So that's my lovely line sister there. And I think Latoya is the other one that's on here. Um, so I want to know, what are you guys, what are you guys currently working on? Tanisha, you are an exempt from the question, my dear line sister. <laughs> so um, let's see. Okay. Oops. So I want to know what you guys are working on. What are you currently building or what's the what's the project that you are currently building? I hope that, that, you're, that you're building something. If that's if not, that's another scope for another day. <laughs> because we're always growing and pushing forward. Oh, that's funny. I was typing still learning. <laughs> no problem. I totally understand. Take your time. Periscope is. Definitely a learning curve. Definitely. 
I don't know if you're on my email list, but I sent out an, an email article just kind of giving some Periscope tips because it's all it's a new craze. But everybody's trying to figure out how in the world do I use this thing? <laughs> so I'm going to give you guys a second. I know you're probably still typing and putting your answers in here. Um, but I hope that this information was helpful. I want to kind of let you guys know that tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm doing um, a Google Hangout and it's called Help. Um, I'm working on the vision that God gave me. Kiara, that is so awesome. I saw that you were writing a book and then it like totally disappeared. <laughs> but <laughs> um, that's exciting. It's funny because I'm actually, I have a webinar that I did like a year ooh, about two years ago now called I wrote the book now what because I've done so much work with authors um who have gotten their book out and then like six months to a year later they're trying to really figure out what do I do with this so I'm actually going to be re um doing that so Kiera I hope you're on wow awesome that is really, really powerful. Kiara, are you on my email list? Um, because I want to make sure you get the information when I send out this webinar. It's called I Wrote the Book, Now What? Because I'm telling you, I've met so many authors who have come to me and went, you know, I went to there, I saw the launch. And then six months later, I was like, how are the book sales? And they're like, it's coming right so there's 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 such a strategy to um yes thank you for the hearts because there's a real strategy to um working your book and and really really pushing it you know um lisa nichols says this she says that your book is an expensive business card working on a blog and empowerment see wow you're doing a lot that's awesome that is good stuff. What's the name of your blog going to be, um, Tanisha? Why are you typing that in? So, Kiara, I hope you're on my email list. If not, um, please um, go to my website um, at tiffanybathia.com so that I can make sure you get the uh, the promotion when that I wrote the book, Now What comes out. Because I really, really want to share those nuggets with you that I've, A, learned myself as, as an author of a few books. <laughs> that are on my website, shameless plug. Um, but also from working with so many authors who get the book out there and then they're like, okay, what do I do now? Like literally like the month after the launch. <laughs> so um, your book is really an expensive marketing uh, tool. It's really like a business card. You can use it to open so many doors. Still narrowing it down. I have two names. Ah, oh, that's exciting, Tanisha. I love it. And you're just getting back from Cancun too, girl. Ooh, I should have hopped in your suitcase. <laughs> um, but that's exciting. So, so you know, as you're mapping out, both of you, um, your plans and, <laughs> and, you know, what it is you need to do, um, be sure that you connect, strategically connect with someone who has done what you're trying to do because I'm pr I'm promise you that every every place that you get stuck they'll know how you can get unstuck and I'm telling you it will save you time it will save you energy and my goodness it will definitely save you so much money I've learned in this journey of entrepreneurship that we try to do stuff on our own and we're so used to that oftentimes from the you know corporate and we're just like oh I got it I'm good but entrepreneurship, hi, Ms. K Jams. Oh, that's so, oh no, I'm so sorry, Tanisha. Definitely praying for your family and um, sending my prayers of peace your way. I'll definitely be sending prayers up for you. And I'm praying that uh, the peace of God would just totally cover your family. So hugs through the periscope. <laughs> um Wow, hi from Miami. Oh my goodness, you're down there in the beautiful beach. Oh wow. I wish I wish I could I wish Periscope was two ways so I could like see Miami through your phone because I would love to be down there right now. But welcome to my scope. I'm talking about um 
Oh, wow. <laughs> Sad face. Too, too hot to even see the beach. Oh, no. And Tanisha, absolutely, definitely. Anytime, my sister. Uh, miss you guys. I don't get to see you guys as often as I want to, but love you to pieces. Miss K. James, that's awful. I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, tell me a little bit about what you do as you're typing. Um, I'm telling the ladies... Um, Two of the biggest things that, well, it's really one thing, but it's two spokes of it, <laughs> that keeps us from honestly getting where we want to get to. I did a scope this morning and I was talking about, wow, just quit teaching. Congratulations. What are you, what are you looking to get into? I was telling them about how I've been generating some new revenue and um, activity in my business over the last 30 days. And, and one of the biggest reasons I've been able to do it, aside from marketing, obviously, and other things, has been the power of community. Every place I was stuck, everything I couldn't quite figure out, there was somebody I could reach out to to say, you know what, I've been thinking about this. What do you think about this? And they could give me some real, real feedback. How to monetize my life, launch my writing. Oh, wow. So you might be interested in this. Um, Tomorrow, I am actually doing at 9 p.m. a Google Hangout. It's called Help. Yes. <laughs> so if you're new to my scope, I'm a little animated. <laughs> but it's called Help. I'm trying. I'm growing the vision that God gave me, and then in parentheses on a budget, right? <laughs> because one thing I know as a marketing consultant is that marketing budgets are shrinking, shrinking, shrinking. But we still need biz big business results. So, um, Ms. K. Jams, if you if you can go to www.tiffanybetheabathea.com um, and register for that free. Well, you know, the funny thing is I really want to do it through here. But before like today, my Periscope was acting real crazy. So, um I'll definitely check that out, though. Thank you for that. Um, but this is going to be really um, some really practical tips and information about how to take whatever it is you're growing from where from this literally the step you're on now to the next step. Very practical. So um, join us for that. Whether you can watch it live or get the replay, definitely want to encourage you to do that. So, all right, guys, I'm wrapping up because um, I was sharing with them that I'm in the middle of a 31 day uh, prayer and journal experience. Um, so I'm the founder of the CEO Life Business and Lifestyle brand, which is really aimed at spirit, soul, body, and business wellness. That once we get our spirits aligned with God, our minds fortified, our bodies in good health, we're really able to sustain strong businesses. I have found that strong, healthy, whole people have strong, healthy, whole businesses and all of my clients who just couldn't get over the hump in business it was usually some breakdown whether spiritually mentally or physically not just in the business and so I'm really passionate about helping women leaders to get those things in alignment um, yes you know so um, I've been on a call with my metamorphosis ladies just praying and encouraging them we've been in the word so my poor throat <laughs> is is like this, but I told Periscope viewers that I would be back, so I wanted to keep my word. Um, so I'm wrapping up, but again, the two things I really, really want to encourage you to do is whenever you feel you, you're looking for it now, okay, I'm going to, while you guys can hear my voice, I'm going to pull up the page so that you can see it. Is that cool? I'm going to pull it up on my tablet and let you see it. So let's see. Double tap. Did it do it? There we go. Wait. If I do it this way, it may be. Uh-oh. Can you see that? That's a little... <laughs> strange so okay wait let me see something try to find another better way here oh, yay, yay, yay. let's see if I can get right up on it's hangout so it's hangout access come on uh tablet work with me please so hangout as an h-a-n-g 
You got it, yay. Okay, great. <laughs> Cause my tablet was just really not trying to work with me. And that's not nice. I'm gonna have to have a conversation with my tablet when we finish. <laughs> but um so hopefully you'll be able to join us um tomorrow. Like I said, at least get access to the replay. Um but if here, here's what I was talking about being in community and being in a space where you you're connected with people who one know more than you. Now I may have that's another scope. I'm not gonna get off on a tangent, but making sure that you are connected with some people who are where you wanna be, who can help you get unstuck. Um, so I was in a place where I was just really crying out, God, I'm look I'm looking for something more, I'm looking for something new. I'm trying to stretch. And then he spoke something to me, but it was in connecting with other women in business. Yes. And we, but we all get stuck, right, Miss Kay? And so here's the thing, you know, once we pray about it and once we begin to feel like God is speaking to us, or even if we don't feel like that, one of my mentors has been dropping in. So I'm going to tell you guys real truth. Metamorphosis is one of the new programs I literally rolled out um, this month. It's a 31 day prayer and journal experience. My mentor has been telling me to do that for months and months and months. And I was like, Oh yeah, I'll do it. And then I, you know, got distracted with some other things in business and I have a couple other businesses. And then I just, I just, I don't know. I just didn't, I, I was really unsure and I was not confident, but I believe that was God speaking through her. Right. So I wasn't really listening to her and kind of essentially I wasn't listening to him. Double tap the screen if you've ever had God speak to you through someone and you just, you weren't really, <laughs> wow, back in January. Mm -hmm. So listen, she told me to do this. She told me to do it. And so finally, 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 I released it this month. And guys, you know what's crazy? As I'm on the scope right now and I'm literally realizing that in, in that obedience, that that was a part of what unlocked all of the revenue and all of the new activity I'm seeing in my business. Because check this out. So Metamorphosis is a 31 day program. It's a journal and prayer experience. I meet with women leader entrepreneurs and we, you know, we go through different prayer and journal exercises. But the funny thing is I was just expecting to really just deal with the personal development. And many of them are saying, well, yes, we want God, but we want business help, too. So it's really brought a whole fresh energy and brought new clients into the business side. And that's not at all what I was trying. I just wanted to pray and encourage each other. And that's not what I was honestly looking for. I have my, you know, regular monthly clients and um, my, you know, so I have some major companies that I work for that I manage their social media and their web and all that kind of stuff. So I wasn't necessarily looking to get into any like coaching or helping. That is not what I was trying to do. But God has been sending me women out of everywhere, like by the droves who are like, I'm trying to grow this business and I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. And I'm like, oh. Oh, okay, I'm coaching again, <laughs> but that's what I've been doing. And so, you know, if you're stuck right now, continue to pray, continue to see God. Don't move until you know for sure that you've heard what he said. But the moment that you hear it move, because I'm telling you, when I finally released this program, this has been the most crazy month in business. That's I literally had to create a whole new program because so many women are honestly coming to me. I was like, oh, okay, let me. Let me let me put something together to handle all of this volume that's coming. So if you're stuck, stay with it. Be consistent. Keep doing what you know to do until you get some new instructions. But I think I can really, really help you. And I'm hoping that you'll join us on the Hangout tomorrow. Because if it's one thing I know how to do, woo, is get unstuck. <laughs> I have been a full-time entrepreneur now for a few years. Yay! So, so as I'm, as I'm wrapping up, let me tell you guys, I'm, I have been a full-time entrepreneur for a few years. Um, I'm a re-single. I was married. I no longer am. So, you know, for some of my lovely sisters in business, they have a, a husband. Um, the hangout link, Tanisha, is um, www.tiffanybathia.com and then forward slash hangout access. So H-A-N-G-O-U-T-A-C-C-E-S-S. -S. I was like, wait, <laughs> hangout access, right? Um, 
But but if it's one thing I know how to do, and this is such a powerful part of my story, because I don't have a second person's income to depend on. It's, it's me and me. <laughs> and, you know, and so I'm having to just gr- same here. Yes. You know, it's real. And, you know, and I have a five year old son, you know, so it's I have to I, ha- I cannot. There's a level of where. I cannot. Yes, it is a video chat and it's going to be interactive. Um, So you're actually going to get an email tomorrow with another link to the group where we'll be dialoguing because I want it to be very interactive, um, even more so than tonight. Definitely want to see your comments, your questions, all that good stuff. So hopefully you'll be um, joining us on tomorrow. But, you know, guys, it's just me. And so... (laughs) Every time I get un- every time I get stuck in my business, I don't have the luxury of staying there. I'm like, you know what? We got to eat. We got we got bills, you know, and I have to get unstuck. So it's those principles that I really want to share with you how to keep moving forward, how to keep growing because that's what I have to do. I don't have any choice but to do so. <laughs> so, um I'm going to wrap up, guys. I Honestly, I didn't even think I would be on here this long. I'm surprised my throat has lasted this long day of talking and coaching and episode planning. Some of you saw that um, I'm hosting a new talk show. Another quick plug. You can check it out at www.watchmagenta.com. That's W-A-T-H-M-A-G-E-N-T-A.com. It's a brand new um, YouTube, for now, talk show for millennial women, um, just a positive, educating, um, entertaining experience. And so today I was on the phone with the set designer and the, and the, the, uh, la- the wardrobe stylist. And I've been doing a lot of talking today, so I'm getting ready to wrap this thing up. But I'm excited that you guys were here. I hope that you will truly, truly look at your community and ask for what it is that you need so that you can begin to grow and push past where you are in business, even if it's fabulous. You know, nobody's saying it's a bad place, but there's more ground for you to cover. There's more work for you to done that, to do, and there's more in you that God has deposited in you that you need to give birth to and that needs to come out. So I'm excited for your growth. You can always find out more about me and the work that God has me doing at www.tiffany, B-E-T-H-E-A.com. And you can follow me um, at Tiffany Elbathy, and I'll actually see that and follow you back. <laughs> um, so I hope you guys have a phenomenal night and it sounds like you guys are planning on joining me. So it looks like I'll see you in the Google Hangout tomorrow night. So good night, ladies.